as they got off the line in the AWMF highlights. You can see Crew Halliday once again got a pretty good start. They made their way down towards turn one, but Brock Pearson came flying through the field, getting off to a great start. Arthur Cece's was in there as well, Steve. And we know that Arthur gets great starts, but uh, he proved that he also gets great starts in the wet. Unfortunately, his race didn't go much further than turn four on the first lap. No, unfortunately, that crash for Arthur and the um, Stop and Seal team bought out that uh, red flag and Arthur couldn't take place. On the restart, though, the Yamaha boys went backwards. The Ducati guys were back up the front. Brock Pearson was where he needed to be. Glenn Allerton also got a great start and shot through. Although Harrison Voigt got a good start, we know what happened to him. He thought, this is getting too risky for me. But there were some real good um, riders coming through the pack. Ty Lynch, what a good start. If only he'd just like stayed a little bit calmer, the result could have been so much different for him. Ant West, well, he knows how to ride in the wet. He certainly does, and he came up the inside there. In fact, on that occasion, both West and Waters went up the inside of Ty Lynch who showed that he wasn't scared to uh, have a go and came back immediately to the next corner. Unfortunately, a lap later, Ty Lynch was down and out on the uh, Yamaha R1. Of course, he is a Superbike rookie. He doesn't have much experience on the Superbike. This man, Josh Waters, having his 156th start in the ASBK Championship on board a Superbike, certainly does. Yeah, putting a lot of pressure on Brock Pearson out front. He was. Max Stauffer and Anthony Lewis were having a great battle, weren't they? but uh, Max wanted it. You said he's hungry and he was hungry. But as we know, he pushed just that little bit too hard and it was all over for him. He didn't make the podium. Back marker in the way, but Waters took the lead. The number 11 though, Brock Pearson wasn't gonna let it happen this time. He let it happen in Sydney, but uh, Pearson was so, so good on the brakes and gave it everything he got. He was hungrier the, in this one than Josh Ward. The amount of times that Pearson on the brakes uh, into corners had both feet off the pegs in that race. Unbelievable, especially there at turn four and also turn 10. That was the moment that Max Stouffer, who was holding down third position, unfortunately crashed out of the race. And uh, Max was still there. Some laps later, Josh Sodland also crashed out on the Smash Media Sodland Motorcycles R1, and you can see there, he just goes, ah, oh, well. Thumbs up. He's had a rough weekend, but he'll bounce back at the next round at one raceway. Brock Pearson, untroubled in his run to the finish line, eventually taking the win by 1.2 seconds. His first ever win in the Australian Superbike Championship for the AMA Warehouse supported event this weekend.